my beloved love, and this really allows you to step into that flow state of effortless manifestation and, in the case of this reading, to really stay connected with your innermost self and with your intuition through all of these decisions and potential relationship situations coming up in your life. Okay, so what else do the beautiful Divine Feminines need to know at this time? The most interesting thing about this reading is it actually ended up being almost entirely just a spontaneous download, as opposed to a literal reading, because, as you've noticed, we actually only pulled one card, that indecision card from the Emotions deck. So this has really been more of a download than anything, but I hope it's brought clarity to someone's life at this time. We also, of course, have the Queen of Pentacles. So the most dominant message from your guides, besides, of course, listening to your intuition, is that you are in this very abundant frequency. This is going to be attracting in your desires in all areas of life from all directions, and again, that actually includes in romance and love. So when offers or people come in, even people from your past, take this as evidence of the fact that you are emanating this highly abundant energy and frequency and that this is attracting back to you a lot of these positive signs of this shift in your own energy. I'm hearing choices, options, and discernment. So that message is pretty clear. You are going to be having a lot of choices and options. And although this reading has been very love-centric, this doesn't just apply to love. You are going to be having options in work, financially, with friendships, with environments you place yourself in. And that is why it is so necessary for you to use your discernment. And for the context of this reading, your discernment and your intuition are inextricably linked because when you are tuned into your intuition, then utilizing discernment is essentially effortless because it just involves you staying connected with that intuitive voice within yourself and making decisions accordingly. So this feels like a really beautiful place to close the reading. I just also want to say that I am so appreciative to each and every one of you here. Thank you for tuning in to the reading today. I am sending you all so much love and energy, wishing you the most beautiful remainder of your day. Today's video is actually a continuation of a message that almost interrupted the last reading that I posted. It was really interesting how the energetic interruptions, so to speak, came right at the end of the reading. I was actually channeling the final Rumi Oracle card, which was Sacred Convergence, the number 11 card, of course, connecting with the magic of the number synchronicity 1111. But what's interesting is that card came out reversed. And that entire reading, we've been talking about your spirit guides cleansing and purifying. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe.